Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So on today's video, I'm going to discuss with you a very, very important topic, which is how you can pick up 15,000 rupees every month, invest it sensibly and grow that wealth to 1 crore rupee in the next 15 years. This is not a clickbait. I will show you the actual math behind it and I'm taking very conservative estimates. I will show you a simple process. I will also share one of the key plans that I've drawn around it. So please listen to this video very carefully. Please make notes. This is a very important video, especially if you're a beginner or an intermediate level player in the stock market. And towards the end, I will discuss a few stocks that I have purchased very recently and explain you the rationale around it also. Now you will say, Akshat, you are making it sound so easy to make money in the stock market. Go back, right? Back test my strategies. For example, I have made a video on Asian paints a couple of months ago, roughly. Since then, a great stock like Asian paints is up by 14% today as I'm speaking. That is in one and a half, two months window. So you can literally make great amount of money in a very sensible stock in a literally risk minimized format. So I fail to understand why people don't use such techniques. Now, before I jump into the nitty gritties of today's video, many of you have asked me that Akshat, how do you develop your financial acumen, financial knowledge, and how do you come up with all these different strategies? So first and foremost, very thankful that you're seeking my suggestions on it. So one of the key things that I do is that I consume knowledge in the form of books, audio books, podcasts, and whichever knowledge material I can get my hands on. So this has been my honest strategy in terms of learning. And I would like to thank our sponsors for today's video, which is Koku FM. I absolutely love their product. I have curated a list of finance books that I have personally found to be very insightful. So you can go and check it out on Koku FM's platform. It's an audio book platform. And you can check the links in the description box to avail a very special discount also. So let's get the video started. And first and foremost, let me explain you the math of one crore in the next 15 years. Okay, so let's just play around with these numbers. Now, if I'm investing 15,000 rupees on per month basis at an annual rate of return of 15%, annual rate of return for a time period of 15 years, then my total invested amount will be 27 lakhs. And my estimated returns will be 75 lakhs. So in total, I will have 1 crore, 1 lakh, 52,946 rupees. This is what the math tells us. Now, many of you would ask me counter questions. One is 15,000 rupees, Akshat, I can get. No problem here. 15 years also, I am okay. I'm a very patient, long-term investor. No problem there. But this 15% return, can you comment a little bit? How can I ensure that I'll get 15% returns? Two points there. So one is that if you take a look at the last 20-year Nifty returns, Nifty 50 returns, which is a safe index, so to say, this is literally index investing. Anyone can do it. You can literally start your SIP in index-based funds and you will make 12.2 to 12.4%. This is what the historic rate of returns of Nifty tells us. So this is the benchmark return and all we simply need to do is that get 2.5% more than that. Now, can this be done? The answer is absolutely yes. And here is my method with you. And do tell me in the comments whether this method makes sense to you or not. Okay, so let's start with the method. Step number one, you need to have a list of winners. So let me show you my list of winners and how you can figure out your list of winners also. Now, this is a study that was done by Mr. Ramdev Agrawal, and I will put the links in the description box for you to check out the entire report. This is the wealth creation report for the time period 2016 to 2021. And here we have the list of biggest winners, fastest winners and consistent winners. So you will see that companies like Reliance, TCS and bunch of other good, good companies have generated the most amount of wealth in India, like Tanla, Alkela means Web of Global, etc. So so they have generated the fastest returns in the last five years. The CAGR has been 93%, 80, 50, all that, right? So you can see that the returns have been very, very massive here over the last five years. And this is CAGR. This is not like overall return, right? So very, very impressive returns here. Then you have consistent compounders. So these companies have generated again, very massive returns, right? I mean, 30%, 40%. And here we were speaking only about growing your wealth. And in the mathematical formula that I was speaking to you about, I was just speaking about 15%, right? So show me one company from this list of winners that has given less than 15%. Zero, right? Even less than 20%, five-year CAGR, no company has been there. Now, one obvious question you would ask me is that, Akshat, if it is so simple to generate this type of returns, then why is it that mutual fund managers are not generating these type of returns for us? I have given this answer multiple times on my channel. So if you're a regular viewer of this channel, do comment below. Otherwise, I'll put my answer in the pinned comment. So step one is that you identify a list of winners. And according to me, these are list of winning companies. Now, is this 
an exhaustive list. Are these the only winners? The answer is no. There can be multiple other winners also. Point number two, are these companies going to continue to perform really, really well? I don't know. But here is my thought process. Now, see, folks, it is like saying that you are in 10th standard and you have scored 99% marks in your board exams. Now, in 12th standard, should I be betting on you? If you are a stock, then should I be betting on you? The answer seems to be yes, right? Because by looking at your 10th class marks, I can be pretty sure that, you know what, this person studies really well. He or she has scored 99% marks. Very likely, very, very likely that from 99% marks, he or she might still end up scoring 90% marks, right? So that's the worst case scenario. Same is the argument with this list of great companies. What is happening here is that these companies have given a CAGR of like 30%, 40%, 50%, 60%. Now, the CAGR will fall to like maybe say 15% for the next five years, right? Why is that? Because this is called as momentum, that some companies are on an uprun, right? On a constant uprun. Now, momentum simply means that if a train is running at 160 kilometers per hour, even if it puts a brake, it will take some time to decelerate. It will take 30, 40 seconds to decelerate. Same goes here that these companies are in such a great momentum. If you go pick and invest your money in these companies, it's not as if that something like alkyl amines where the CAGR has been 79%, it will come down to like 5%. That will not happen. That is highly, highly unlikely to happen. So I hope this point is clear that number one, start with a great list of companies. Mr. Ramdev Agrawal has already curated this list for us. This is step number one. If you like this, hit the like button and also tell me that entire 15% game, is that doable or not? A lot of people get confused that, you know what, not possible, this, that, no, it can be done very, very easily. Now comes the second step where you have to use a little bit of thought process in terms of refining this list, right? Now, refining this list simply means that A, you have to add some stocks to this list and B, you have to delete some stocks from this list. So let us speak about point B first, which is deleting stocks because that is easier to do. So which stocks will I delete from this list for now, right? And this is my personal opinion. You can have different perspective on it. I will delete something like Reliance and I'll explain it to you in a minute why. I will delete something like Escorts and again, I will explain it to you in a minute why. So let us go to this point and let me explain both these points as to why I will delete something like Reliance and why I will delete something like Escorts and what's my thought process behind it. So, okay, so I'm showing you the chart for Reliance and you will see that from 2008, the price of Reliance was roughly 600 rupees and up till 2018, it was roughly around 600 rupees only, right? So during this entire 10 year window, Reliance gave like literally close to 0% return. After that, the stock price has shot up for Reliance here, right? Now, why has that happened? If you ask yourself, the answer lies in the word pivot. That Reliance has pivoted its business from being a conglomerate oil-based business, which is commodity driven, to a technology platform-based business called as Reliance Geo or Geo Platforms. Now, the business pivot has already happened and people have already purchased this entire story that Reliance will become really big in this hardly three years time. So one massive bull run in Reliance has already happened and majority of that five-year period return that we were talking about on Reliance on that particular list, it gets subsumed here, right? So. The bottom line is that right now, if you enter on Reliance, it is from a macro perspective overvalued as per my understanding. So therefore, I will not take massive bets on something like Reliance because a very recent run up has happened in Reliance. If you look at it from a five year window perspective. So this, according to me, is a pivot play. It's not a consistent growth play. So I will eliminate stocks like Reliance. Now comes the second category of stocks that I will eliminate. So I will eliminate something like Escort. Now, why would I eliminate something like Escorts? The reason is fairly simple that I will eliminate Escorts because of the nature of the business. For example, Escorts is engaged in the business of manufacturing of agricultural tractors, engines, earth moving and material equipment. So what is it doing? It is doing heavy engineering. Now, what does heavy engineering entail? It requires two things. One is debt, right? that's A. And second is demand, right? Second is demand. Now, what is happening is that I personally am not too bullish about the automotive sector right now because it is going through a pivotal change right now. It is moving towards more conventional sources of energy. It is moving towards EV and bunch of different different changes are happening in this industry. Escort in the past has been a leader in the agri space and most likely it will still continue to be a leader in the agricultural heavy equipment manufacturing space. It might. 
but it's just too much of a plunge for me to take as a normal retail investor i can't put in my money and keep on tracking the company every single month what developments it is undertaking what type of competition it is fighting it might again from the prospects of changing his business model to more ev oriented business or more non conventional resource efficiency business it might take on a lot of debt so i am a little bit uncomfortable so i will eliminate these type of stocks what type of stocks i'll eliminate number 1 businesses that have already undergone pivots like reliance number 2 businesses that are 100% going to go through pivot so i will keep these two types of stocks aside now if you can go through the list study this you can further eliminate and refine this list which brings me to part 2 of the second point which is what type of businesses i will add now so these will be businesses that have not been penetrated a lot and that are clearly moving in a correct direction for example i feel that amc businesses are deeply under penetrated in india right now lot of entrepreneurs are jumping into the space right from navi zerodha everyone is jumping into amc space now so which shows me that hey this space has potential no doubt about it competition will rise because it is deeply under penetrated so i will add stocks like nam india or hdfc amc on this list similarly if i talk about life insurance or insurance in general the entire concept of health insurance and life insurance is changing in india and the premiums are going up like crazy right so these companies will become profitable with time because 2020 2021 has been disruptive years for the healthcare and insurance sector they have the firms in this industry have suffered a lot of stress because of the numbers of claims that have gone up but this is not going to continue for the next 5 years right at some stage claims are going to come down but do you think that premiums are going to come down comment below i don't think so absolutely not so from that angle i will add something like amc or insurance all right so this brings us to step 3 that so once you have created your list once you have refined your list you must pick six stocks at least which are diversified now why am i suggesting six stocks the reason is fairly simple that if you pick only one stock or two stocks then you are not diversified you might only end up buying hdfc mc and something bad happens with the company your entire portfolio goes down so no please diversify and buy six different types of stocks so then you will say akshat okay which six stocks are you going to buy or are you buying right now so let me start with my favorite hindustan unilever i feel it's a wonderful stock and see guys i mean there is a reason why it's my favorite stock because again no matter which good list i look at HDFC is on everyone's list despite it being such a mature company right so i will definitely buy this i am buying bajaj finance i have purchased icici bank i have purchased hdfc life insurance and amc right so these are some different types of stocks that i am buying i have purchased hdfc life insurance and amc here i have purchased alkala means i am an investor in png health i have taken some position in deepak nitrate astral i am already an investor arthi industries i am already an investor so if you analyze my portfolio it automatically becomes very diversified so out of these different list of companies now i am not saying just go by my suggestions please do your own due diligence and research but try to pick six stocks 2500 rupee investment in each of these different stocks this is point number 3 then comes the final point that hey okay great akshat 15000 rupees i have i'm eager to invest new year is just here i want to become an investor i have identified my list of stocks also now should i put all my money on 1st of january the answer is no you have to develop a more nuanced system of buying stuff right now there are two methods that i will speak about first is a normal scenario so normal scenario means that you know the markets are moving sideways sideways means that the market is neither crashing too much it's not going up too much so this is neither a bulk buying opportunity or an opportunity not to buy anything so you keep on doing your regular sip systematic investment plan please pick a date for example pick random date 12th of january invest 2 and 1/2 thousand rupees in each of these six stocks on 12th of january irrespective of whether the stock is going up whether the stock is going down you should not bother invest okay this is normal scenario now second comes an opportunistic scenario so let me show this to you via an example and there is a technique that i have outlined now you tell me the technique name i have been speaking about it so much other people have also started using it for their youtube channel now but you tell me what is the technique that i am teaching right so what do you do in this technique you basically draw a trend line right so this is a trend line that you are drawing right this is a very strong trend line now how to draw a trend line etc i have already taught all of you right so please go and rewatch those videos okay so now let me draw like a support trend line also 
this is what a support trend line would also look like now this becomes like a very strong channel why strong channel because this has literally existed from 2019 ish onwards so almost two year old channel for a great stock like bajaj finance right so bajaj finance is one of the most aggressive growth stocks it has come down by how much from its top so it has come down by roughly 18 percent right now from its top is it a good time to buy? Absolutely, because it is available towards the tail end of this channel. It might even break this channel. I'm not saying that, you know, the stock might not go down. It might go down by another 5-10%. But the point is that it will return to this channel and it will make a new high. So that entire thing becomes your gain. Such an easy way of making money and people are missing it. In 2020, I took at least 5-7 to seven times I did swing trading on Bajaj Finance and made like insane amount of money just by using this channel technique and selling and buying it. I love volatility in the market. It becomes so easy to make money from that perspective. So just to very quickly summarize, if the market is stable, just keep on doing SIPs. If the markets are volatile, use this channel technique and use my technique. What is the name of the technique? I'll tell you. So it's zone of bulk buying. And this is where you buy things in bulk, right? When it is hitting the channel or breaking the channel, great stocks, you go and buy these things in bulk. Similarly, HUL, great bulk buying opportunity. HDFC AMC, great bulk buying opportunity. Nam India, great bulk buying opportunity. If you're not buying these great stocks now, how will you make money? So just to summarize, four steps, have a great list, refine that list by eliminating certain types of stocks, add some new good stocks that you find to be useful. Third, please diversify with 15,000 rupees. At least invest in six different stocks, two and a half thousand rupees each, good to go. Fourth and finally, pick up the right time. If the market is going sideways, don't just sit on the sidelines that you know what, I'll buy when everything falls, this, that, no, please don't do that invest, do your SIPs. If the market is volatile, use the channel technique to do bulk buying or bulk selling. And also please check the links in the description box and check out the curated list that I've given out on Cuckoo FM. Thank you so much and I will see you the next time.